Okay, I'm going to denox some solution here, uh, or attempt to. Uh, let's see if I can get this up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's 125 degrees Fahrenheit, 129, depending on where I want it in here. Okay, so it's it's warm. So uh, okay, I'm going to be using um, sulfamic acid cleaner bought this from Lowe's and I'm just going to put some in here dry just got you know not quite a half a teaspoon just a, a little on a spoon because uh, I don't know how much nitric acid is in here because this is processors and I have no idea how much nitric was actually needed because um, this is the third dissolution. The first two came off, and and they're in my stock pot. But as you can see, I'm just dropping just a little in at a time. And as I drop this in, I get a violent reaction. That violent burst is nitrous oxide. Now I got a breeze blowing. It's blowing from left to right of where I'm standing and you're supposed to put this in and stare but I've got these processors in that's gonna it's, it's not really possible to stare to the bottom so I'll just have to put some in and wait for the reaction to die down and then add a little more and I'll keep doing this until I add some and I don't get a reaction and when I don't get a reaction that's when I'll stop I don't like to have too much of a reaction like this going because of course it carries solution out and that's losses so to cut losses you'd you'd want to put just a little in at a time let it react and then add a little more not have a big boil going all at one time I don't know if it makes a bit of difference but I don't know it just seems that way to me Now see we didn't get as big a reaction on that one. We're getting close to the point where there's not a lot of free uh, nitric acid left in solution. Now this sulfamic acid, it's, um, it's just turning into really minute amounts of sulfuric acid in solution. That's really the only byproduct left. The rest of it goes up into the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm getting real close. As soon as I add a little and we get no reaction, that's uh, that's when we know that uh, the free nitric acid is gone. Yeah, I should have got a good boil out of that if it had, had any. Now you should always do this outside or under a fume hood and make sure there's a breeze blowing. If you want to stand with the breeze to one side or the other, never front to back. That way it can blow those fumes away from you. You don't want any of these fumes in your face, trust me. Mr. 
got just a little bit there. Now normally I would put this in water first, uh, but uh, you know, for the sake of uh, information, uh, I don't want to just be pouring a solution in with nothing to show what it, exactly it is. Uh, I just want everyone to know this is sulfamic acid. It's sold as grout cleaner at uh, Home Depot. That's where I bought mine. And got a tiny, tiny reaction out of that one. Yeah, I, I, I think it's just about done, but what I've already put in there, by the time it's uh, completely dissolved, because you see these bubbles coming up, that's actually a tiny reaction going on with the crystals that hadn't dissolved yet. So, by the time all of the uh, the solids has dissolved in solution, I think that the I think this solution here will be ready to uh, filter and drop.